But what I want to show you here is we're going to go to um, stat, okay, right here. See where it says stat? Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit. That's the first one. And we'll, you see these lists here. If you want to clear these lists out, just arrow up to the top. So I'm just using the arrow keys. And go ahead and hit clear. When you arrow back down, it's going to clear out that list. I'm going to do the same thing with list one. I'm just going to hit clear. I'm going to arrow down. So let's just say you want to find the standard deviation for some quiz scores. Say the quiz scores are like five, enter, eight, eight, nine, and 10. So not a lot of data here, but I just want to show you how this works. So then what you want to do is you want to go back to stat, okay? You want to go arrow over to calculate, and we're going to select number one, one variable statistics. Since we're just working with just uh, quiz scores, just one variable, we're going to select enter, you're going to arrow down to calculate. You can see we're working with list number one. Enter, and there you go. So if you scroll down, you can see X bar there, the one at the top. This represents the, the mean, the average. It's eight. Okay, but the one that we're going to be using is the one here with the sigma, the little circle. Okay, the standard deviation, that's 1.67. So that gives you an idea of how spread out the data points are from the mean. Okay, and if you arrow down, there's some other interesting data as well. There's the Number of data points, five, n equals five, the minimum, uh, the first quartile, the medium, the third quartile, the maximum. So there's a lot of information here, but the one that we're interested in is this one here, sigma, okay, and that gives you the standard deviation.